to you. To you. Okay. Oh, you, do you even have to ask? Uh, is Kath and Funny ha Sun happening? Yeah, all right. Get yeah, get them on stream fine. then. We got time. Hey, who's on stream? Caleb versus Will D. Some some low tier action. What do you mean low tier action? What are you trying to say? Ace Grim Tuesday Damage SA Nick. The SA Gamer experience used to be something else. I gotta say. These spots are. I don't know what you're talking about. You know. Yeah, I feel like getting some losers out the yeah. way because we're, we're going pretty good for time, I think. I don't know if it's appropriate to call them losers. Why don't we call it uh, the participant bracket? The bracket, the bracket of alternative success. Yeah. As it's sometimes known. The bracket of second chances, because we're all about that. I like, I like lower bracket. Exactly. Yeah. I like upper and lower bracket. Dividing them up into classes. <laughs> upper class and lower class. <laughs> do we call? Do we start calling winners bracket yeah. first class it bracket? Only, it only takes one one slip up and then you're down there. <laughs> you're, down, it. you're down in third class bracket. Yeah. The po can we call it poverty bracket? <laughs> I guess not. It's a bit too loaded. Yeah. I mean, if you make it through, one lucky one lucky guy gets to head up to the upper bracket in a way, with a disadvantage. But he's up there. So Wilty's been improving at a steady rate. Um, He's like already kind of made some steps to like, you know, get a bit better. But Speaking Caleb's been a bit over. Yeah, people who take steps to get better. Caleb, the we man. have the master of it. Will D. He's on those steps. He beat New Samus, Mitch. Did he? That's yeah, he good. did. That's pretty good. Win. Oh wait, no. Mitch is the um fox. Well, he's playing Peach right now, which is an odd choice. No, Will D's playing Peach. Right. Okay. He beat Mitch, who was playing Fox. Right. No, Musket said he beat New Samus. Oh, that would have been earlier. I'm in just the interacting with the chat, providing a nice. Oh, uh, my bad. Experience oh, in, for our in viewers. In round one, he beat New Samus. Right. Okay. I see. I see. Oh shit. That means and then lost to Catherine and loses. Damn. He was seated seventh and then I dropped it pretty he's... early. Yeah, that was um. I mean, he's ooh. like he's pretty good, Will but I think jumped. uh. I think Samus um. I don't want to get too uh, non-esports. Where are you going uh, with this, buddy? Have you heard of the phrase, a character carrying somebody? You think Samus carries some people? Uh, no. Scooch in the frame, buddy. I don't, I don't want to... You don't want to like make any... Like, I don't want to make waves here. But you do. I don't do. want to rustle feathers, but I do want to rustle feathers. Well, Specifically his feathers. Alright. You're carried, so... <laughs> you can't do that. All right, all right, all right. I, I, I retroactively didn't do that. <laughs> you did just get to take him. You edit, edit your Discord message, uh, bro. I uh, did not say that you were carried by Samus, sir. Anyway. Good luck in the field of battle. Anyway, so round, so first game we're going to Battlefield, like, obviously. Yes. As any two respectable players would. I think Caleb's odds on for this one. I mean, he did say he was a bit sleepy. Yeah. But, um, I think Sleepy we'll Caleb. Sleepy Caleb maybe unlocks some hidden potential. There's only very few people, I would say, get better as they get sleepier. I think Billy's the only person in Australia who oh. gets better as they get sleepier. We might be seeing it here today. Don't be surprised when Caleb comes to you. Maybe be a little surprised. <laughs> Caleb's movement has been getting a lot better lately, and he's yeah. been getting a bit better like in shield pressure situations, which are kind of like the two main areas that he struggled a lot with uh, uh, as he's first coming in. So yeah. I think his biggest problem has always been that he's like kind of a set play player, where he has like a certain plan, and he just sort of sticks to it. You know what I mean, like he can, he can get very predictable because he's just sort of like, I'm gonna do this correct thing. Yeah, I suppose. Sort of. Or he has like a certain, I don't know. Well, yeah, he tries He tries for like the favorable option, right? Yeah. And like, it's fair enough to go for that in most of the situations, but you're playing Captain Falcon, you want to be going for a bit more reads. And like, that's kind of how his meta uh, developed originally, was just like based on that reads. But now you see it like go in the opposite direction where it's like a new school chic almost, where it's like I mean, really planned out. But, and obviously this matchup really favors Captain Falcon as well. Yeah. Peach super floaty, gonna get comboed all day by Falcon, and also die really quickly to yeah. to the knee. You just, you just get 
just out of space. Do you like he? She's he's so much faster than you. And it's just like you can feel really rough sometimes. Oh, gets a weak knee. Not when you want. Yeah, Will D having a bit of trouble trying to pin Caleb down at the moment. He hasn't really pulled many turnips, so Caleb's just had free reign over all the battlefield so far. You know, you know, Musket. You might think that, but sometimes he does go for reads. It's not all the time, but occasionally he does. And, I mean, a lot, a lot of the times it doesn't work out, but a few times it does. Usually when he goes, tries to kill you off stage, uh, that's ended tragically, but I think his success rate has been slowly improving. Alright, so Wilde actually applying some pressure now, uh, actually getting a bit of a footing on this next stock of his, but he's just not really getting much off of his opening, so Caleb is going to be winning out overall. Yeah. Now look at the pressure from Caleb. Oh, what a great shield grab. Gets him before the knee comes out, but no follow-up. You, you know what? I think that was some... Uh, I can't think of the word right now. Flubs? No, no, no. What you just said was like... Uh, you looked at the result. I don't know if that shield grab was really all that great, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, right. I think it just happened to work out, but really maybe it had no business working out. Okay, fair enough. Like, that, he could have easily gotten He was gotten in need. the air. He got it the easily need, need, yeah. I think he probably would have gotten me. Oh, the oh beach ball! Oh, my roller. God, that was... <laughs> he actually hit. Oh, that was, that was funny. I th he definitely didn't mean that, but hey. Oh, all right. Yeah, Let's there you go, go. Caleb. Come on, oh, down smash him, Will. Down smash him, yeah, baby. That probably would have worked. Oh, oh he's off God. stage. It's over. No, you no, saved him. No, it's not. Uh, Will's got to clean this up now. Oh. He's played with his food for right, too was long. That, was that trade worth it? Uh, Will D looking like 2014 MACD right now on that platform hitting that C stick down. Alright, he's got. He sh this should be it. That should be it. It's true. Caleb failed to read that Peach Puppet, but somehow, I don't know how, he ended up in a favorable position after that. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't understand this game, but. That's gonna do it though. Caleb going 1 0 up. Yeah, it looks pretty um, formulaic. I don't know. Like. A very practiced, very labbed out. Yeah. Where are we going with this? I mean, where are we going for the next right. age? Like, like it looked like it didn't require much thought from Caleb to take that uh, victory, is what I'm saying. You think Caleb's carried by Falcon? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Why are you trying to put words in my? <laughs> oh. All right. So I'm saying you just play better. I'm honestly, I'm honestly not sure about coming to Dreamland. If Will like kind of yeah. analyzed the first game, he didn't really. I think there uh, wasn't much situations where he just kind of. Um, like most of the time he died, he was from a knee, and you're kind of going to be dying yeah. even on Dreamland. Yeah. I'm going to say if he's any good at the chain grab, I think FD would have been the best choice. Yeah, FD FD was been really good. loving the platform. I'm sure FD would have been banned, right? Uh, that's something I don't consider. I mean, I'm used to playing best of five, so I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't When's the last time you played a best of five lemons? You know, it was probably probably yesterday, you know. <laughs> anyway. I just played so many of them. Alright, you can't you can't keep track of them, yeah. I guess. So Well kind of taking that center real strong at the moment. Kev hasn't really Oh, nice. okay. I kinda like that up smash there because it led to a follow-up on the platform, but you didn't so actually got the stock off. Caleb went for, I think it was like, tech away, turn around, crouch. He got down smashed, so I don't know if it worked. It wasn't that great. Oh, nice. Dude, that was a really good edge guard, actually. Ever professional. Yeah, so I think, like, maybe even Yoshi's might have been... Uh, actually, nah. The bad. Like, I was thinking maybe Yoshi's might be a bit better, but I think on the whole... Even better than Yoshi's would have been Fountain for Will D. Because he's like kind of just spamming that down smash, right? And Fountain would have been really good for that. Oh my Taylor's playing this edge guard game really well against Will D at the moment. Yeah. He's really kind of got it. I was, about, I was about to say he's just not giving up the center there, but. Alright. Alright, Will D starting to get something going. Starting to rack up the percent. Starting to grab three times in a row to the same place. Uh, he has no float. He's got an up B here. But no punish Caleb, from Caleb. He's too, he's too respectful. And he really read that role there, as long as I'm Both of them reading a role, I would say. Oh, what a shield grab, actually. Woody goes out for a read there, but... Is this a bit slow? Like... 
He needs to be using the turnips for edge guarding against Tarkin. Oh. Wow. That's the Dreamland play. Okay. All right. You're right. What do I know about Peach? Yeah. Oh, Learn one more. One more. Master. Oh, he got, got another down smash there. Oh, he's living too. All right. What, what? I don't know anything, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think Woody's been doing that air dodge a bit too much. Okay, gets clipped by the down smash. Oh, but at the edge, this is where Caleb's been kind of winning most of the game. It's like just cornering Will D, making him, sure he's not getting that center. Get him. And it's really good for Falcon too, because even if Peach, like Peach, really slow to go to that platform to like try and take back center, and then Falcon could just easily clip him with the up air, and then that usually leads into a knee. What a read. All right, here we go. Will D's getting something started here. He doesn't get kneed at the edge, which is always good to see. He's been getting hit by a few of those. This is getting really close now. It's starting to kind of swing towards Will a bit. But he's still got two more stocks to take. And all Caleb really needs at this point is a knee and then like an edge guard. Yeah. If that. Okay. Okay. No tech for Will. Still he's got all a the few pressure. knees. Okay, here we go. Oh, up there, is that me playing? Uh, bit too late on that back air. Gets grabbed by the up B. Like good old frame 13. It's, this is a four minute match. I mean, the last match was a four minute match. Do you think Caleb uh, just in Dia's, in engineer's slow play? Can I, say? I mean, playing against him, he does kind of set a certain tempo. Yeah. Um, but if you're playing in space, you can kind of run over him. I think he's much more suited to... I think his style is much more suited against floaties, and that's fair enough, he's Falcon. Um, but, you know... It just, like, just not getting locked down by spaces just, like, makes all the difference for, yeah. for a lot of players. And, like, Will D hasn't really been, like, locking down Caleb at all. He hasn't really been using uh, dash attack, which is I, I find is pretty good against... Uh, the few times I've seen it, it's been, like, Caleb's just been ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving. Ducking yeah. and weaving. Because you can really kind of just mix up between dash attack and down smash with Peach a lot of the time. Here we go. No chain grab though. Yeah. Will D's just a little short of all these Ooh, like, attacks perfect. that he's putting on Caleb. And Caleb's just been like alpha team. <coughs> Alright, something started for Will. Oh, he goes for the Falcon kick and gets fair though. Go for some technical stuff. Oh no, Caleb. This could be it if Will D cleans this up, but he gets it all the way. Lemons, Ooh. who's gonna take this? Caleb's gonna take it easy. Oh, what a goal! See? Two godlike. Caleb with a clutch knee right on cue. There you go. You're just such a better commentator than me. What can I say? How <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, It's like I was just... saying. It was like I was saying before. He just engineered the whole scenario. He built it up. Well, it took about six minutes, maybe a little bit longer than he had to, but. Oh you know, my god, you That's one of his flaws at set play. He's got this game plan. He goes in, right, I'm going to go through all this whole thing. I can't believe how hard you outplayed me on commentary. <laughs> you actually got me good. Uh, anyway. I mean, you